Good day, Tinkercad friends. I am back and I've got a lesson here that has been pretty popular about the shape generators and it was made before there were some cool changes to Tinkercad. So let me take you on a tour and show you where they are now. Okay, let's start with naming files. Now all we do is click and put the name we want in the box. So there I've got my shape generators. You can see I've got the cool extrusion over here. When you start Tinkercad, you will be in the basic shapes, but you can simply move down to the featured shape generators and you'll have access to the ones that they find to be the most useful. The one that I taught you about was the extrusion. This little tool is awesome because you can come over here to the shape and you can drag these handles and make them into something totally different. So like I'm gonna make a little dinosaur foot by simply stretching these out and arranging them so they look kind of like a dinosaur foot. These would be called bezier curves. So when you stretch the handles, they adjust. I need to have a third dinosaur foot. So I'm gonna just bring this one over here and over here so that I've only got one curve to be the back of the foot. Lots of room to adjust and then what's magical is as you adjust them, they show up on the other spot almost instantly there is my cool dinosaur foot so many incredible things you can do with this including bringing out another one and using it to round another shape so I'm gonna come over here and give it a nice curve get it so it's doing what I want and I'm gonna turn it into a hole so if I go back to the normal shapes and I bring out a basic cube, I can take this crazy shape, stand it on its side, and then I can arrange it so that it cuts out my former shape to give me the opposite piece that I had right there. If I want this to be higher, like you can see I was trying to subtract that, I can just go do it over on the extrusion. And now that awesome shape can be grouped. And I have made some crazy custom, like you could do molding or something that you're putting in your house. Or even just a silly boulder. I don't know, but there's so many amazing things you can do with the featured shape generators. It is important to note when you bring these out that they have these cool settings that let you adjust. I actually used these threads to fix something with one of my rocket launchers. I changed all the settings so that it matched the part that I had. I turned it into a hole and then by simply putting a cylinder on top of it, I was able to make the part that needed to be attached to this rocket launcher that was built in the 90s and I could not find any parts for it before. When I group those two together, since I made it a hole, it won't be lined up, but if you look underneath, you can see it now has the threads to be attached. Let's go back to those featured shapes and check out another one of my favorites, the curved words. When you bring these words in, you can say anything you want. I'm gonna say, hello world. And then I'm going to look at it from the top with the cool view cube. I'm going to change the top corner so I'm at a better side. If you make them thicker, they will pop out, of course. If you adjust the radius, it's how far they spread apart. Sometimes typing numbers is easier. And then also, you can change the point size so that they're a little bit thicker. So if I go to 15, then they'll actually bump into each other. With all these shapes, it's important to give it time to actually render because uh, you're asking the computer to do a lot more with these fancy shape generators. Let's check out page two. They've got the snap and socket, the adjustable box. This amazing little fella instantly lets you make a box of any height that you want. If I change it to 30, it snaps to those new sizes. If I switch to the box top, it lets me adjust it so that it's able to go on top. So my box top would probably only be about five high. 
and you can see that could print and fill the other box. Let's prove it by just bringing the other one out and check that out. It instantly would snap on top after I printed it. Before I sign off from this custom shape generator video, let me show you the all. When you get to all, there are pages upon pages of amazing things that you can play with. Every one of them, when you bring it out, it has all of its points that allow you to adjust it to be whatever you want it to be. There are so many things that you can make just using the cool skills that I've given you in all the other training videos, including simple things like using the work plane to drop your next part right where you want it. Boom. Who doesn't need a drilled cylinder with a socket on the bottom? Have fun, explore, share all the cool things in the comments of what you find. I'm going to press W to get my work plane back down to the bottom because that's where it seems to make the most sense to me. But hey friends, if you enjoyed this movie, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment or a favorite shape generator, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and last but not least, click notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep tinkering.